Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the game Nida Valir. If you'd also like to know how to play this game, then I have a separate video for that. First, let's get it ready for action. Start by assembling this little stage and place all the coins there. To not make the video too long, I've already prepared it. In case you're playing with less than four players, remove two coins with the number 7, two coins with the number 9, and two coins with the number 11. So remove six coins in total. They can go back in the box. When you're done, this can go in the middle somewhere at the end of the table. Feel free to pause the video if you're setting it up with me. Below that, you place this green board a bit under that, this red board. Leave some room in between because you're going to place cards here. And all the way at the bottom you place this blue board. If you like, you could also place these three small boards in between as a reminder for a specific action. You have these two tokens, the green coin and the amber crystal. You won't need them until halfway through the game, so you can hide them under the stage for now. Another thing that won't be used until halfway through the game is these cards. So you can keep them on the table or put them on a card holder like so. Just put it somewhere to the side. What you do need in the first round is a few other displays of cards. You have these warrior cards, the ones with no color on it. If you're playing this game for the first time, it's better to remove three cards. This one, named Trud. Also this one. Ilud and remove Ulin. They can go back in the box, use them for the next game. Another display is for these cards that do have colors and show multiple banners on them. All these displays can go close to the stage with the coins. The last thing to go on the table is cards for in the middle. That's what you have these two decks of cards for. The one with a yellow 1 and a pink 2. Take the pink deck first. If you're playing with less than 5 people, first remove all the cards that show a little icon of the number 5 on it. They can go back in the box. Then shuffle it and place the deck somewhere up here. Then do the same for the cards with the yellow one. First, maybe remove cards that are for a five player game only and then shuffle them. When you're ready, you could place the deck on top of the pink one, but it looks nicer to have it separate. Then, from this yellow deck, you start to put out cards face up under these three boards. If you're with less than four players, you put out three cards. If you're with four, you place four cards in a row. If you're with five, then you do five. Do this for every row. Place cards under the boards. The table is done! Now it's time for everything for the players. Everyone gets one of these boards. Just place it in front of you. And every player gets a set of these coins. Zero, two, three, four and five. Keep them with you. The last thing is these crystals. 
If you're with five players, you use all of them. With four, you remove the one. If you're with three, don't use the two. And two players only use the four and five. Take all the crystals and shuffle them, and then deal one face up to each player. You put yours here above your own player board. The unused crystals go out of the game. You're there! This is how you set up everything for the first round of Nida Valir. If you'd like to know how it goes, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching, feel free to leave a comment, and see you for the next one.